，还是了吗？ Uh, hello, everyone. This online sharing activity will approach to start. Please check your electronic device and the international connection. Please turn off your microphone voice on left buttons of web page. Thank, thanks for your cooperation. It will start after uh, one minute. Welcome back, Roman. Thank you. A pleasure. Have everyone listened to my voice? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, dear teacher and students. Welcome to take part in the online keynote speech and the sharing activities. Uh, I'm host. My name is Wang Shilin, um, the advisor of PhD and master. Um, today's topic is language barriers to communication. Uh, that will include four parts. The first part is about language barriers. The second part is about cause of language barriers. The third is what uh, common barriers to effective communications. The last part is how to overcome language barriers. Um, please allow me to introduce today's presentation. Uh, presentation Sorry, um, people, Kachaga, right? Uh, he's from Bangladesh. Now, uh, let's welcome to people. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, thanks to uh, Lin Lao Shi uh, for today's host and, and for the mm. online semester, uh, seminar. So, uh, welcome, uh, welcome to all of you. Assalamu alaikum. I'm a Nam Papel. I'm a Bangladesh. Hola, mi nombre es Papel. Yo soy de Bangladesh. Mi nombre es Papel. Me Bangladesh soy. Ni hao. Wada mingzi Papel. O si mangjala guren. Hello. My name is Papel. I'm from Bangladesh. Here in Jeju University, I'm pursuing PhD in industrial economics. So today I would like to talk about language barrier to communication. So, all of you have noticed just I introduced myself in a couple of different languages. Uh, probably a little confusing uh, to understand it, right? So, uh, however, however, we use um, several languages in, in our life, uh, such as um, our mother language, uh, our community local language, and others. Basically, we uh, use English as a common language uh, to communication in worldwide. So let's just talk about the language. Language is a gift, but it also can be a barrier that we have to, uh, uh, that we have to acknowledge it. So um, according to the uh, biblical story of the Babel of the Tower, at the beginning of the humanities, every single human spoke same language. Everyone is in one community and they perfectly understand each other. And it was perfect 
So empowered by the connection, they have decided to build a great tower, a giant tower. And it was the uh, same level as the god. So one day uh, the god knows about it, that people are abusing the power. And the god says, if one is speaking same language, they'll come to do this, then nothing, nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. So God decided to disperse the people all around the world. So they can't speak same language anymore. And, and God, uh, God thinks that, yes, this is uh, good for the people. And they no longer uh, finish the tower. And yes, they no longer understood, understand each other. And the thing is the, um, is the connection and understanding really important for all of us as human beings. Either we all desire to be, uh, to be heard, we all desire to be understood, we all desire to be connected, uh, uh, connected one, uh, one each, uh, each another. And it's really hard uh, to do that all the way around the world because uh, now there is about 7,097 uh, known living language in our world. It's pretty big, right? So there is no way that every single person is going to be one of us able to learn all the languages. So we cannot speak every single languages. Most of our life is miscommunication. And when we add a language barrier to it, it just becomes uh, local mayhem and confusion. So, <clears throat> language barrier to uh, communication, and let's talk about what is a um, language barrier. Oops, sorry. We are not hearing your voice. No sound. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, sorry for the interruption. So we are talking about the actually the language barrier definition. So language is needed for any kind of communication. Even people with speech impairments communicate with sign language and braille. Communication becomes difficult in situations where people don't understand each other's language. The inability to communicate using a language is known as language barrier to communication. So language barriers are the most common communication barriers which cause misunderstanding and misinterpretation between people. So actually, language is a uh, common barrier to if, uh, effective communication. However, it's uh, not just um, speaking different languages that can hinder communication. When people use uh, technical terms, jargon, or uh, acronyms that don't understand, this communication suffers. Even if everyone speaks the same language, to avoid misunderstanding, confusion, and uh, uh, communication uh, breakdowns make a point of speaking in a way that everyone can understand. In a short, we can say that a language barrier in the most basic and simplistic use of the term is the lack of a common language that prevents two or more people uh, from speaking, um, from speaking uh, to or understanding uh, each other through the verbal communication. <clears throat> So, 
Our next uh, is point is about the causes of language barriers. There's a uh, lots of uh, reasons to the language barriers. So today I'll discuss about the seven uh, the reasons for the language barriers. There is the number one is differences in language. Differences in language is the most um, obvious uh, barriers to communication uh, as, uh, as two people speaking the two different uh, languages cannot communicate with each other. For example, if an American people just um, goes to China, but if American uh, person fail to communicate with them, then, it, then the communication is uh, really worthless as the other person doesn't understand it. So now, uh, for the example, we can watch a video. So I want to show you a video. Hope you, I uh, hope you enjoy this. Please tell me you speak English. I'm Detective Carter. You speak in English. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Please, shit. First, I get a bullshit assignment. I'm just a light promoting. I don't need to speak American. Come on, man. I'm right over here. Put your bag in the back. Put your bag in the back. No, 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 no. Put your bag in the back. I'm not a sky cat. I'm FBI, you understand? The hell you think this is? Watch shit. So guys. <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me now? Okay. Guys, we just um, uh, saw a video. There is actually, uh, I want to, I want to give a message that here, Mr. Jackie Chan. As you know, the the, the blockbuster movies, it is a rush hour, and uh, the Jackie Chan and the Chris Tucker, they made first time in the movie. So here, uh, Jackie Chan came, to, uh, went to the uh, America uh, to to solve a case and Chris Tucker was his partner. So here, uh, Chris Tucker thought that he cannot speak English. Uh, so he was, uh, he was speaking like this. But uh, as, as we know that, uh, Jack Chan is a good speaker, is a good English speaker. So that's it, uh, that's, uh, that's I want to say that when uh, a, a, a few a people uh, go first time to the another country, that it's really difficult for the people to speak the another language. So. Uh, so uh, I want to say that if the speaker and the receiver do not use same language and words, uh, there is uh, actually no meaning to the uh, to the communication. Yes. So <clears throat> let's uh, go to the second uh, reason. It's about the regional accents, dialects, and pidgin. So okay. The accent and dialects uh, of people uh, belonging to different places uh, differs um, even if their language is same. Though the languages, uh, language, uh, uh, languages are technically uh, the same in people using different uh, dialects and accents, uh, the meaning, implications, and interpretations of words is um, uh, just are different, which may lead to various kinds of uh, conflicts. So uh, I want to say that. While um, 
two people who two people may technically speak the same language dialectal uh, differences can um, can make communication between the uh, them difficult uh, so examples of uh, dialectal uh, language barriers exist worldwide uh, in example china here in china there's a lots of dialects including mandarin and the cantonese yes so we can also give an another example Suppose if a Scottish person uh, talk with a person from England, they do not understand uh, most of the words even. Uh, though both uh, they speak, uh, the both of them speak English. Okay, I think you don't believe this. Let's watch another uh, another video about this. Uh, before showing this video, I want to tell you that. I will show you the same video for the two times. One is without subtitles, and the another is with subtitles. At first, I want I, after the first video, I will ask you some question. Actually, what the the person, the gentleman is trying to say? Okay, and I hope all of you can uh, uh, respond it about it. Okay, let's watch the video. It must speak. I know from speaking to a number of parliamentary colleagues that there are still certain aspects of the estate, including the northern estate, that are not good for people with disabilities. Can I ask yeah, the honourable gentleman what work is being done to make sure that this place is more accessible, particularly for some of our colleagues who have a disability? Here, here. I'm sorry. It must be something to do with my antipathy in the background. Could you please repeat the question because I didn't follow it? <laughs> well. Very popular today. Um, I, I'm saying that a number of parliamentary colleagues who have disabilities do find it quite difficult getting around certain parts of the state. Given that we're doing this refurbishment work, what can be done to make sure that those with a disability are, are able to move around more freely and the place is accessible? I'm really sorry. Please, could you do it very slowly in oh, intimidating no. English? Thank you. Just give me the old answer. I'll take the answer. I'll take the answer. Okay. Hello, guys. Uh, so, did you hear the video? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So, did you understand actually what is the gentleman is trying to say? Can anyone tell me? No. Yes, I understood only. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Then, then uh, see the, uh, the same video with the with the titles, okay, with the subtitles. Let's watch this. Actually, what is the gentleman trying to say? Thank you much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I know from speaking to a number of parliamentary colleagues that there are still certain aspects of the estate, including the northern estate, that are not great for people with disabilities. Can I ask yeah, the yeah. honourable gentleman what work is being done to make sure that this place is more accessible, particularly for some of our colleagues who have a disability? Here, here. I'm sorry. It must be something to do with my antipodean background. Could you please repeat the question because I didn't follow it? <laughs> well. Very popular day. Um, I, I'm saying that a number of parliamentary colleagues who have disabilities do find it quite difficult getting around certain parts of the state. Given that we're doing this refurbishment work, what can be done to make sure that those with a disability are, are able to move around more freely and the place is accessible? <laughs> I'm really sorry. Please, could you do it very slowly? In English. Thank you. I'll take the answer. So, okay, guys, now can you understand actually what is the gentleman trying to say? Yeah, um, Papel, he was yeah. trying to say that um, the means of getting to the parliament was not favorable to the people with disability. So he was suggesting that they yeah. should find remedy to enable those, those people to have easy access to the parliament. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, you understood about this after uh, seeing the, the subtitles, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, so that's actually that's the that's the point. Uh, in um, Scottish, uh, Scotland, and uh, the England is is a near near country. So actually, the Scottish accent and the England British accent is really diff different, and it's really difficult to understand for the uh, a, a British people to understand the Scottish uh, uh, the words the accent. That's that's my point. That's what I want to say. So <clears throat> let's continue up, um, the seminar. 
then the, this uh, the one is the pidgin similarly uh, pidgin is the simplified uh, language used between uh, people who do not speak common language the implications of words uh, and phrases can uh, can create misunderstanding for example um, uh, i think you know about the lol right l o l does anyone know about this the the abbreviation of l o l lol does anyone know about this can anyone tell about this the lol the meaning of the lol Laugh. I've heard before. Laugh out loud. <laughs> okay. Yes. Laugh okay. Out. Laugh out loud. Ah, actually, actually uh, yes. There, yes. I got the two answer. Lots of love and uh, uh, laugh out loud. Here, actually, the lol before used for chat language is is just like for the lots of love, which change uh, to laugh out loud. If a, if a person says lol, the second person can interpret the meaning in any way they want or form their understanding. Actually, uh, people use both uh, abbreviation according to the context and need. And another, also, uh, and another uh, uh, example I want to give is, okay. uh, I want to give it uh, the example with the video. After the video, I will explain it, okay? Uh, please watch it carefully, okay? I hope it, it is fun. It will be fun. Das hier ist mein Sekt. Das hier ist das wichtigste Gerät des Küstenwächter. Das Gerät für das Überlebensradar. Mayday, Mayday. Hello, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Over. We are sinking. We are sinking. Hello? This is the German Coast Guard. We are sinking, we are sinking. What are you thinking about? So did you notice the video, guys? Yes. It's actually, they, they said that um, Mayday, Mayday. Actually, in um, Mayday, we actually use this word when we are in danger or the, the military base person, they use this, the, 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 the word Mayday, mean is in danger. So here we can say that uh, a German Coast Guard, uh, <laughs> he was thinking that someone is thinking about. Yeah, actually, actually, they are saying that uh, Mayday, Mayday, we are sinking, we are going uh, down under the water. But the Coast Guard uh, think that they are saying that is um <laughs> they are thinking about something okay <clears throat> then the uh, next reason uh, for the um, language barrier is nuclear speech people uh, who speak a uh, soft or in a um, in a small voice or speedy cannot be understand understood uh, the senders might be saying uh, something whereas the receiver uh, might understand something else. Though uh, speaking common language, people might, uh, might have diffic uh, difficulty understanding the meaning of the message and the feedback. So uh, this might also be a cause of uh, obstacle of, uh, in communication. Um, uh, I want to say that uh, from my experience, I have a friend, he, he speaks so fast, he speaks so speedy, when actually he talks with me, uh, uh, I, 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 I used to, I, I, now I used to tell him that, can you, could you please repeat it again? <laughs> Just because this first, for the first time, it's very difficult to understand him because he speaks so, so fast. Everybody, what are doing, what are doing, something like this. So it's very difficult. If it's not clear, it's, uh, then it's very difficult to understand. So it it's, it's can lead the uh, language barrier to communication. So, okay. Uh, the next one is about use of jargons and slang. Jargons um, are the technical words used in communication. It might be different according to different professions, um, uh, specialty and uh, technical field of, uh, of a uh, person. So for example, 
uh, technical words used by uh, doctors and lawyers. Lawyers are, are they are extremely they are extremely different. They are really extremely different uh, professions, uh, doctors and the lawyers. So if they start talking, uh, both of them will not uh, get what the uh, the others actually is uh, talking about. So here I want to uh, share a story. Uh, one day a person went to the court and there uh, uh, he saw a judge, a judge was sitting there and the judge, there's lots of noisy, crowded, on the time he was sitting there. And the judge, uh, the judge said, or oh, they're, they're making us, that's why the judge said, order, order. And the person stood and said, one rice with chicken. So actually, as uh, the judge trying to say that is order, order means please keep quiet. Please keep quiet, but uh, he understood the another meaning. So, <clears throat> so uh, similarly, uh, the, the use of uh, slang also makes uh, uh, communication ineffective. For example, there is a word, uh, is said uh, Jolox. Does anyone know about this? What is the meaning of Jolox? Does anyone know about this? Okay, maybe no one. So Jolox means, uh, is actually called to overweight person. If you, uh, I'm pretty sure that if you call to another, another person who is pretty fat, just uh, if you call him that, hey Jolox, how are you? I think I'm pretty sure that he would, he would be he don't mind about this. But if you call him, hey fatty boy, how are you? <laughs> then it's just like fat shamed, right? So so this kind of slang also the is it can be the ineffective in the communication. Oh okay. The next one is a uh, word choice. The choice of word used in uh, describing anything must be considered before communicate, uh, communicating. Uh, the words used uh, uh, by a particular person to show their agreement on something. Words with two meanings, uh, homonyms, homographs, and, um, and uh, homophones uh, should always be avoided as it doesn't send the proper meaning and uh, can't be interpreted with anybody. So uh, to communicate with others, try to use easy words that other can understand. So okay, let's uh, watch another video, another video about this. What's the nature of your emergency? My automobile is on Fritz. Your automobile's on the Fritz? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes! My automobile is on the Fritz! That's not really an emergency now, is it, sir? That's not an automobile is on the Fritz! Alright, call back in. Hello? <coughs> oh. Ein Moment, Fritz, bit! Okay, guys is trying to save a life, right? He is trying to save a life. But the problem is the choosing of word. <laughs> he said, a fleet. So it's not actually to save anyone. So we're trying to, we're, uh, he is trying to save uh, the person, but due to uh, lacking of choosing word, uh, he cannot save his life. So that's the problem. So sometimes we also make, uh, make uh, this, uh, we also face this kind of situation. If you, now, if you are in China, if you cannot speak Chinese, then how do you call to the police that, yeah, that uh, to help you? It's really, uh, it's really, really uh, difficult to communicate. So, okay, the next topic. The next one is uh, literacy and linguistic ability. Some people have a low vocabulary in a particular uh, in a particular language, 
whereas some are very high. Uh, though literacy and uh, uh, literacy and educa education um, is it, it increases the, the need to learn new words. Uh, it, it it might uh, not be only the reason. People uh, people can increase their vocabulary by reading and with their with their own interest too. Suppose if a, a person with high vocabulary and linguistic ability talks with another uh, person with low ability, then uh, the second person will not understand actually the words used, uh, leading to uh, miscommunication uh, to whole message. Yes, uh, sometimes it it happens that a uh, you know, uh, high vocabulary person, uh, known person, is trying something, some words that some vocabulary words which is not actually familiar to the another person. So it's, it's really difficult to understand. <clears throat> the second and the, and the last one, but last but not at the least, the grammar and spelling. Grammar and spelling uh, becomes a barrier in communication as uh, people from different parts of the world, uh, they, they, they can be using it in differently, differently even in a particular, uh, a particular word. So when we speak with someone with uh, with their language, then we have to alert on using uh, on using the the grammar. Yes, uh, sometimes in China, in China, it's really difficult for me to understand actually the grammar, grammatical words or uh, the grammar is really difficult for me to understand. Sometimes I'm I when I face the main problem is toy. Toy means right. Here, as someone said, if someone says something right, then I say the toy, toy, toy. It's okay. It's toy, toy. But I, I feel that I face the problem that this toy also means for. Is uh, is for in the pre the preposition, the for. So it's is also difficult for me to understand. I don't know about you guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you face this problem or not. But yes, I face this problem. And. Uh, now we are going to talk about the what are the common barriers to effective communication. Uh, regardless of the types of communication, um, there's a uh, verbal, non-verbal, uh, written, listening, or or visual. If we don't communicate uh, communicate uh, effectively, we put ourselves and others at risk. Mm, so here I actually mentioned uh, some um, some common barriers uh, uh, to effective, which actually effective communication. The number one is <clears throat> not listening enough. Active listening is an important aspect of uh, effective communication. You cannot engage uh, you cannot engage with someone if you are not listening to them. So at first you have to listen to others. Actually, what are they trying to say? If you are not a good listener, then you cannot be a good speaker. So at first, that is uh, must be the not listening enough is the is effective the communication barrier. The second one is environmental and physical barriers. Under the environmental and physical barriers, we we can uh, we can classify the barriers such as uh, time, uh, place, and and medium. So here I want to talk. Uh, I want to tell something about the time. Time is the barrier which is concerned with developing uh, quicker and speedy channels of, of, of the communication, uh, such as uh, uh, as uh, sending information and communication through email. So email instead of sending letters by post. Yes, uh, uh, today we can we can uh, send anything by by the mail. Uh, no need to no need to wait for the the letter by post. So it's it's really easy. It's really easy, and so it's uh, so need we also need uh, just less uh, one minute less one minute to send the the information and the and the communication. So now, I want you to ask a question, guys. Just answer me with honest, okay? How many people send love letter by post? Please raise your voice. That era Don't has continue. passed. <laughs> Have you ever sent uh, any love letter by post? Papel, that 
that era has passed. We are now in a modern world. We have yes, I, technology. Yeah, so, I want to say that I want to say that before before the the technology. Have you ever sent any love letter to a, your dearest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, <laughs> you are so I, nice. I no? never did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I think you are doing this uh, right now with the technology, right? Exactly. <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's now take a short time. So, okay, thanks for the res response. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, another environmental and physical barriers is place. The area, the environment, uh, where the communication is taking uh, place uh, should, be, should be clear and not be crowd, not overcrowded. Sometimes, um, actually, we go to the club, um, the, the, to the con uh, concert, or something. Uh, something like uh, the festival is overcrowded, right? On the time, it's uh, very difficult to communicate with, uh, with the other person. When when we uh, talk with uh, someone in the overcrowded, he said, "Hey, how are you?" Something like that, right? <laughs> it's it's really funny, but um, we have to we have to say it loudly. So, so I, this is also the uh, the reason, uh, the effective uh, communication. And the third is uh, the, the medium. Actually, the medium is uh, via which uh, the uh, the uh, case of communication, uh, uh, of communication is uh, taking place should be effective and appropriate. Yes, whatever you choose for the medium, then it should be appropriate. <clears throat> so the third one is uh, perception. Different people perceive the same things differently. This is a fact which we must uh, consider during the communication process. Uh, knowledge of the perception levels of the, of the, of the audience is uh, crucial to effective communication. So all the, all the message must be easy and clear. If you, if you cannot give them a clear message, then it's, it's, it's really effect, ineffective to in communication. So uh, the next one is semantic barriers. When communicating with the other persons, no matter what kind of communication uh, means is um, utilized, or actually whether it is uh, formal or informal. So it is actually uh, vital uh, to make use of appropriate words uh, vocabulary and languages, uh, all kinds of communication should restrict decency. Yes. So then um, the next one is cultural barriers. Communication also takes place uh, between people uh, belonging in uh, belonging uh, to different nationalities, religions, uh, cause, uh, castes, creeds. Uh, races and ethnicities, etc. So, <clears throat> in other words, well, we can say that when two persons are uh, are communicating with each other, uh, there may be uh, uh, differences in their uh, cultural uh, backgrounds. Here also, I can say that sometimes, due to cultural differences, names also make us confusion to communication. Yes. You are hearing right. Name, name also can be uh, make us confusion to communication. You don't believe this? Okay, let's watch another video. Sorry, yes, just. Whoa! Damn! 
bathroom. Sorry, man. I thought this was the bathroom. Sorry. <laughs> Lee, I got a big problem, man. This boy's on steroids. He got a head like Barry Bonds. Oh, no, come on, man. Ah! Are you okay? Lee, Lee, get him, Lee! Lee, let's get the hell out of here! My buddy is! Woo! Come on, man, let me go. I love Chinese people! How do you say surrender in Chinese? questions, old man. Who are you? No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. Who are you? I There are lots of um, uh, the uh, the points to overcome the overcome the language barrier, but here I choose uh, twelve that actually um, I think this is suitable. So <clears throat> the first one is listen and understand. Listening is the best part uh, to overcome the uh, the the language barrier when um, other language speaking person says something to you then try to listen first it doesn't matter you understand or not but at first try to listen first time second time third time and yes after after doing this uh, frequently uh, i think you can understand but It means that I don't understand. Actually, I I don't understand you. 
So uh, if if a person where can he speak person he speaks slowly, then I can understand. Then I can understand. But when he, he speaks so fast, it's really difficult for me to understand. I don't know about you guys. I hope also you you also face this problem. So <clears throat> the uh, the next one is um, consider language as a game. Yeah, that's right. Consider language as a game. Game is a part of our daily life. We just play where it's really it's really easy to it's really, uh, really to understand everything and it's really to overcome everything so i think some maybe some some uh, um, students they play pubg right they play they play pubg i want to ask you why do you play pubg after killing uh, after killing the uh, after killing about um, 96 person you will get uh, chicken dinner right after getting the chicken dinner, you are still hungry. But yes, it's, you, you you play this game for the satisfaction. It's for the satisfaction, for the satisfaction. Then you also can consider it as a game. Then you can learn the language, any other language, very easily. So the next point is believe in yourself. Believe in yourself is the key to success. You have to believe that you can do it. If you if you believe that you can't then you never overcome anything not not only the language barriers you cannot over overcome anything yes the next one is consider context if you are uh, planning to uh, spend some um, uh, time in in traveling another country then you can learn uh, some useful words or sentences or uh, to before before traveling uh, some people they travel for the business purpose so before traveling there use some uh, words that's related to you related to your subject if you're going to, uh, to for to discuss about the export import then i think you should uh, learn some words on this on this related subject then it will be easy to communicate with the with the receiver then <clears throat> The, the next point is be friendly and expressive. Being friendly and polite goes a really long way. If you are nice and appear to be trying, uh, that you have a much greater chance of people being that, uh, that more patient and helping you. If you are friendly, if you are if you're asking any, any person that for help, if you are rude, they never help you. But you are, if you friendly ask, asking them, they will definitely help you. Here, I want to say the one thing. Here in China, most of the people, uh, the most of the foreigners, they ask, "Hey, do you speak English?" I think uh, it's not the it's not the best way to ask for help. You should ask at least hello in their local language. I think, hey, do you speak English? It's just kind of um, to just it's some misbehave. I think it's just kind of misbehave. It's it's not about to you can understand or not, but at least you should um, say that uh, the hello in their local language. So guys, um, so uh, I think it's uh, it can be it can be more polite, uh, open than a very casual one. So and also and also here I was uh, want to tell one thing that there are no language barrier when you are smiling. When you, when you smile with someone, I think there's uh, no need to uh, there's no actually no language barrier to communication. Be friendly and expressive. The next point is write it down. If someone is telling you 
uh, something uh, just uh, for example uh, giving you a name or a street address and you can't uh, you can't quite make it out uh, then sorry so okay uh, suppose you, uh, you uh, are asking for something the address or the the name of a person then you you want to you can't make, uh, quite make it out ask them ask the person to write it yes write it in a paper that you may be able to better understand and to give you the the option to look it up or to ask someone yeah, I also want to give you an, um, my from my experience, the example from my experience. Um, last time I went to the Beijing, to the Bangladesh Embassy. On the time, actually, I lost. I was lost. Uh, I didn't find the place, the, the exact place of the uh, uh, the embassy. So I asked help from the police, and really he helped me to find out the place, and. Just um, he uh, write down the name, the street, and yes, then I find out easily with uh, to ask someone. So okay, <clears throat> the next point is focus to be understood. When you meet with other language speaking person, try to understand. Actually, what is he or she trying to speak to you? If you don't understand, then please. Don't ignore him or her. If you ignore him, then it's just like misbehave and is really uh, it is the point that you just uh, never overcome the language barrier. Try to be help uh, the person and try to understand actually what is trying to say. Then uh, try to solve the solve his or her problem. Uh, so the next point is. Simplify. Focus on your words, on expressions that your your thoughts. Uh, for example, you can say to someone, "Could you like me to uh, to take uh, your picture, or can you please uh, take picture of mine?" Or you just can simply say that. Photo. I think I think this is much easier to understand. If you keep what you say simple and basic, um, I think whether in your native language or the or the language that is spoken uh, spoken of where you are where you are visiting, so you will you will be um, you will have a much I think a much better chance of uh, getting your needs meet. Yes, try to try to. Uh, uh, Suppose you go to the another country, go to the America, but you cannot speak English. So just if you need uh, some um, water, a bread, or hotel, just you say the words hotel. I think they will help you to find out the hotel. So okay, <clears throat> then the next point is learn a few words and phrases. It's always uh, always a great idea, uh, at least um, then uh, learn a handful. Uh, of words and phrases uh, for any uh, for any country uh, you visit. Um, for example, um, hello, uh, goodbye, please, uh, thank you, um, toilet, water, etc. Blah blah. So <clears throat> here, when I came to China, on the time actually I just learned Ni Hao. Uh, so <laughs> it's it's very it was very difficult for me to understand. Then after coming, then, then after coming to uh, China, I learned some words just like mipan, chiro, chida, xie xie, dajian. It has really helped me to communicate with the other people. <clears throat> Uh, so try to learn some words, uh, uh, the basic words uh, that will help you to communicate with other people if you were you are visiting. So the next point is practice and try. <clears throat> the best way to overcome language barrier is keep practicing. Keep practicing learning new words and if try again, try it again and again. And yes, after practicing more words, you will memorize it. And you can really communicate with others. 
And the final one, the most, uh, I think, uh, suitable one, Google Translate. <laughs> yeah, I think in China, not only in China, if you travel to another country, you use the Google Translate, right, to communicate with others. So I would say Google Translate uh, is a game changer. You can type or speak into the apps and it will translate to the language uh, that of your choice. So uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, I also feel that uh, it's also give some uh, uh, just miscommunication. How uh, here in China, I tried to say something in Google Translate by translating, but <laughs> it 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 has another meaning. So sometimes in Google Translate, it's really very hard to translate the translated one. Yes. That's sometimes so be careful about this uh, to use the Google Translate, but I think it's really helpful. <clears throat> so uh, the next is my experiences in China. So um, before I I uh, told you some some experiences, but here I want to tell something about the the, the language barrier to communication in China. My biggest challenge in the China is the actually the language barrier. <laughs> even after I, I don't know you believe or, uh, or not, even after three uh, three years here, I very I'm very open uh, face difficulties in uh, in communication. Yes, actually I, I the main point is that I didn't grow up here. I didn't grow up here speaking or uh, listening Chinese, so. Is is almost three years in, in here in China. Till now, I am I am feeling uh, I am facing some problem in communication. So um, here I I will give you two points about my uh, the language barrier. First of all, um, I recognize that I have a weakness. Uh, the, actually, before starting communication, <laughs> I want people that <laughs> I don't understand so much. So just I said Nihao when they speak uh, so long language sentence, then I said they just Tingudong. That's it, guys. <laughs> and the second one, I, I I listen carefully. I listen carefully. Nowadays I'm, I'm trying to listen carefully. Even I don't understand uh, the first time. I have realized that uh, the best thing to do uh, to uh, to overcome this actually the language barrier is. At first, uh, to listen and try to understand it. So, um, if you don't understand, try to ask question to other people or you or your teachers or your Chinese friends. Then it will help you to 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 know new words. And it, it actually is. Um, and also, uh, you can watching you can watch some Chinese movies, uh, Chinese songs, Chinese musics. And also make friend uh, from China, and they will help you to actually to overcome uh, this this language barrier. So, <clears throat> however, here is the point: is my big uh, fear in is is public speaking. Actually, I don't feel uh, confident and comfortable in uh, in a conversation, and uh, also I have um, natural nervousness uh, on speaking. But um, I have found that uh, paying some uh, paying uh, paying some attention uh, to respiration while while just um, uh, speak slowly, speak slowly and getting plenty of practice are really good tips. So, so I want to tell you that uh, try to speak slowly and practice it day by day. And uh, actually, uh, sometimes also I do the one thing. When someone speak to you, I try to write down, and it's really helpful for me to know the new words and to communicate with them. So, uh, guys, uh, so guys, I want to tell that uh, learn to speak, and it will help you to connect with other people from different nationalities, different cultures, and it will help you to share your uh, feelings, experiences. And uh, I just I want to say that uh, learn from others.
Thank you, guys. Let's uh, go to the host. Okay. Uh, thanks, Pepos. Wonderful presentation and uh, interesting videos. So, uh, next uh, next part is the question time. So we have ten minutes for question time. Uh, please open your your microphone or open the chat interface to send message. Guys, do you have any question? If you have, then you can ask me. Any question? Uh, I have a question for you. It's not a question. I want to ask a doubt like this. Uh, as of now, I mean, you might have did, I mean, uh, you have did so much research on the communication and the barrier language barrier and all. And I guess you might have came across about the uh, talking, I mean, speaking skills and the speed and the, those things and all. So I have a problem that I speak so fast, even though I try myself to speak so slowly when I'm communicating with the, any other person like who you know, speaks Chinese or a Spanish, some other person. So those people won't understand what I'm talking at first. Then I have to talk them slowly. So do you have any techniques to develop my, I mean, habit, skilling, I mean, speaking habit? Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks for the question, my friend. So actually, um, it's not only you. At first, when I came to China, I also faced this problem. Actually, when I meet with my professor on the time, I, I, I also used to speak so fast. On the time, my professor said, oh, ho, 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 ho. slow, slow, just slowly, speak slowly. So on the time, uh, I actually, I met with him, with my professor on the time three or uh, four times. So I noticed that actually he didn't understand me. So uh, what did I do, actually? When I talk with someone, even in my native language, I try to speak slowly. Even in my native language, I speak slowly to, with my friends. That it, it actually, it, you have to practice it. Just you speak slowly, then, then other can understand. That, um, so I think it's just, not only to speak to uh, with other uh, person in uh, in another language try to speak slowly with your native language uh, friends and hope i hope it will help you uh, so that's it i think i think it will help uh, help you to communicate Papa, so any other question Papa, let yeah. me help him yes um there is a saying that once you identify your problem it is half solved so now you yourself is conscious that when you speak you speak very fast so hence for just be alert anytime you meet someone you are communicating with you try to um reduce the speed level so that the person will understand the message you are trying to send across yes right right yeah thank you so much for your advice i mean so is that do you have any kind of any question guys Yes, yes. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. hello. No, sir. It, it... Yeah, yes, I have. My brother. Yeah, I have one question or maybe yeah. something to tell. You know, actually, sometimes the language barrier, it uh, come from in different way. For instance, uh, like uh, the way like uh, sometime if i want to express myself to a new friend you know it is really hard for me to express or to to say something or to ask for help so that's things is some of student also some of people affect them so what's the solution maybe you may have in that way thanks okay thank you thank you bro 
actually uh, the problem is that when you are going to talk with someone at first try to uh, learn some words actually what are you trying to uh, say some uh, say to the others suppose you are going to talk with your chinese friends but they are not good in uh, in english then you have to learn some words actually what are you trying to say suppose, uh, suppose that you go to the market and and you are looking for something and you, you just say that rice water or something like that, but they don't understand i think you have to learn some words like uh, the, if you need uh, rice you can say that nipan uh, or that you need water you can say sway i think i think it, it will be helpful for you to communicate with them before going uh, if if you have any meeting uh, so before, before going to the meeting just try to uh, learn some words that will help to you i hope i hope it's a uh, is uh, i think it will help to you uh, to, uh, to overcome this language barrier okay thank you i got some ideas in, in your explanation thank you very oh, okay much. thank you Hello. thank you Hello. and thank you very much guys so now is uh, I'm transferring to my our uh, Lin Lao Shi, uh, and thanks again. Sorry, everyone, due to the time limitation. Uh, if we still have questions, please leave message uh, to people in our uh, WeChat group. Um, I think uh, he will happy to answer the question and continue to talk about the meaningful topic, right? Um, so. Um, uh, now we open the camera and take picture. Can I ask me another question? Can I ask me another question? Uh, I have already run 10 hours, that's why. Actually, there is a lot of students uh, from our country in the university. That's because we always go uh, to speak or communicate by uh, our country language. So, uh, how can I inspire them to speak in English? So uh, guys, uh, there is the main thing. Main point is that it's, it's a really uh, is a very uh, beautiful question. Try to make some friends from different countries because I want to say that you already know your native language, right? If you want to improve your uh, English or other or or Chinese or Chinese uh, language, then you have to you have must communicate with. Uh, with the same uh, language people. Suppose like you have uh, friends from Africa, uh, from Ghana, try to make friends with them. It will help you to improve your English. And if you want to improve your Chinese language, then you can contact, you can make friends uh, with the Chinese friends. And really, Chinese are really helpful. They will help you to, to learn, not only learn, they will help you to just communicate with others uh, in Chinese, just try to, to reduce to communicate with your native language people. Uh, thank you, but I first time I mentioned uh, there have a lot of our country student. That course is no need to communicate other countries uh, regularly. So the point is that you have to you have to reduce to communicate with with your native language people. Yes, just it is, is, is uh, important that uh, to speak the same language, but you have to avoid this. You have to avoid this. It's only actually there's I gave, gave a point that believe in yourself. Okay, and without trying, I think you cannot yeah, uh, I think you are from my country. Uh, you will know our problem. <laughs> So uh, actually, we're facing a lot of problems yes. to communicate. Right, right, right. 
So try to try to. Thanks a lot for nice and very. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the question. And uh, another uh, just uh, can I get uh, can we get uh, your slides? Okay, okay. I I will share it. I will share it. To the okay, team. thank you. Thank okay. thank you thank you thank you very bye, much. Bye bye guys. Take care of yourself. Okay. Bye bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Roman. Thank you, Maya. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, Papel. What of you?